Hey, what's up? My name is Arim Smog, and welcome to Webos YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm walking you through how to use the new Figma plugin or the new Figma feature known as Variant. So, I'm walking you through how you can create a checkbox and create various button states using the Figma Variant. But before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and of course, drop your comments in the comment section. Let's get into it. Yeah, so this is not like a serious, 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 serious tutorial per se. So it's more like a review of me trying to use variant and mocking you through how things work. And the first time I got to use variant was some days ago when we were live streaming how to migrate a WordPress blog post from a subdomain to the root directory or the main directory on your server. So um, so we created these checkboxes that we used to outline like the steps that we followed in order to be able to do that so for example this checkbox you can click on check you can see it's now on check if i come over here and i click on uh check it's now checked so we'll create a checkbox like this and we also create like three button variants just so that you can see the way things work so i'll start with checkboxes which is like what we are familiar with so let me just create another frame I'll simply create another frame here and delete this guy. So, of course, your checkbox can be of any form. So, I'll use a square this time around instead of a circle. Then click on it. Then I would. Uh, so, let me select this blue color. Remove the fill. Then add a stroke. This color. So you want to put into consideration the type of places where you'll be using this checkbox. So if it's on a smaller scale, so you may actually want to leave the outline as one. But if you know that oh you'll be using it in bigger context, you may want to crank this value up a bit. So I'll just leave it as at two for now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click and make this a component. The shortcut for that is Ctrl K. So, but I'm not a designer designer per se. I try to run away from being a designer. So we just roll with this shot. So we have this guy. So in order to create a variant of this particular component, so variants can only be used on components. So simply click on the components, then come over to the right. You will see variants, then click on add. Now good. Now what happens is you now have I'm coming. Okay. So this is variant two. Good. So what happens now, or what has happened is you now have a, an exact copy. So this bounding box should be bigger than this. Okay, yeah. Cool. So ideally the bounding box is bigger by default. I don't know what's happening at the moment. So what happens is you now have an exact copy of your original components. And you can see that the name here says variant 2. So in order to create a new state for it, you can just, if you want this guy to be checked, you can just do this. Click on the second variant component. And let me just add a mark sign here. And sorry, I'm not so particular about design and proportioning at the moment. So done. Change the color. And uh, let's leave this at 2 good so now we have our component so we have the default and we have the checked version the next question is how does this work so of course if you want to use it if you want to use this checkbox now in a project what would you do you would you would come to assets then say drag this guy here but by default what we have is because the last variant you created or the last version of the component you created was this checked version. So this is what is showing up immediately you create a new component. So how can you check and uncheck things? So the first option you have here is come up, come down here and click on defaults. Click on defaults. It takes you back to, back to defaults. Or you come back to variant 2. It takes you back to variant 2. But I feel like this is not intuitive enough. Yeah. So what you can do is you could 
Uh, so this can work especially for buttons but if you have um, check boxes, radio buttons that are true or false, here's the approach you want to take. Come back to the original component here, say layers, then I'll click on the first states of this particular checkbox and instead of the name being default, I will set the name to checked equals false because at this point in time, the component is not checked. I'll click on this guy also and set checked equals true. Yeah. So if I come over here now, you can see that instead of a drop down of oh, whether property one or property two or property three, what we now have is checked and unchecked. So I can easily do this check and uncheck, check and uncheck. And I think this particular feature will be useful when you're prototyping, even though at the moment Figma does not allow you to prototype variants of components. So, according to their blog or during the Figma conf, I think in Europe or so, this feature is to go live in January. So, why we still wait for that? One thing to bear in mind is when you're working with checkboxes, it's good to go down the route of true or false. So that's that for checkboxes. So let's try for buttons. So I'll create, so let me just create a button quickly. This of course is too big. Uh, then add, then add the border radius of five. Then, um, so let me change the color. So this guy, then I would say, I'll say click me. Click me. Medium. Now the color is white. I'll change the size to 24 by 18. Anyway, that works for you really. So, the next thing to do, of course, is to create a component. So, you can come over here, at the top here, click on Create Components. And there you have it, you have a component. The same procedure. Add variant. Expand the bounding box. So, you can bring this guy down here. Yeah. So instead of okay, yeah. So then you can change the properties of this guy. Say this, then instead of fill, what you want is an outline, a stroke rather, then uh, so this is primary, secondary, and a partial button. Which of course is not that common, but this is the approach that some UX books or some UX tutorials will take you through. So I want to remove the stroke on this here. So primary, secondary, and partial button. So of course, just like we brought in the checkbox, you could do this. You could do this, bring this guy here, then select, say, um, variant 2, variant 3. But of course, variant 2, variant 3 is actually not intuitive enough as a name. So, here's what I'll do I'll come back here. I'll come back here and say, um, yeah. So instead of variant 2, variant 3, the same approach. The only thing is just, I would say, uh, button equals, button equals primary, button equals, oh, okay, yeah, 
secondary and here i'll say button equals tertiary and let's see how that works so if i click on this guy now you can see now that it's telling me that it's a tertiary button on the right hand side here so i can change it from primary from this to secondary then to primary yeah so one thing i also want to check is the possibility of having so okay yeah so if you want a disabled button it's also as simple as creating another copy of this button then uh, then instead of just calling it button 4 i'll just say button equals disabled then of course i can simply just come here and change the background to gray and if i come over here now i change this to disabled and button is now disabled i think this this looks really good and i think it will even look better when by the time this it's possible to prototype this especially for check boxes so let me know what your thoughts are if you have questions if you have uh if you have questions if there are better ways that you think this could have been done or there are approaches that you think can even increase the workflow please don't forget to share them in the comment section that's it guys thanks for watching this video and do let me know if you like us to make more videos around how to use figma and some other design software please don't forget to subscribe and of course check out any video that youtube will be suggesting to you cheers love ya